How's it going everyone? Jim from Evo Gardens here. Today we're at Bankstown Markets in Sydney. Uh, first time I've ever been here. So we've just parked the car. The car parking is actually free and it's only minutes away from the actual market. So that's a great start. Perfect day, it's about 20 degrees. So here's the first section, section of the market and it's all outdoors. Um, probably about 40 or 50 stalls here selling anything you'd possibly want. Uh, Bankstown Market is actually in Condell Park, but they still call it Bankstown Market for some reason. Uh, this vendor was selling exotic fruits like jackfruit and durians. Uh, he was also barbecuing some meat. Uh, yeah, Bankstown Market is open every Sunday except December around Christmas. And depending which website you look at, it's open either from 9 to 3 or 8 to 2. I was there about 9.30, so I'm not sure what time it actually did open. So plenty of plants, plenty of um, tools, uh, toys, clothes, fruit and veg, just about anything. This is your old style trash and treasure market. So you're, if, you, if you're a guy like me, um, this is probably right up your alley. If you're a girl um, and you're looking for des designer clothes and handmade trinkets like markets at, such as Paddington or Glebe or Roselle or Kirribilli, uh, you'll be disappointed. This is uh, definitely more um, aimed at the guys. There's some uh, orchids and succulents and cactuses, grilled corn and nuts. Some of the vendors had um, home-cooked food on offer. Those lemons were huge, big as my hand. I couldn't believe how big they were. I had a sugar cane juice from here, a large one, with a squeeze of lemon, very nice. Uh, in the background, you can see the grandstand. So this market is actually inside uh, Bankstown Paceway, which is a uh, sporting complex where they race horses, um, which pull little bug buggies, or what do you call them, sulkies. And they race around the track and people uh, bet on them and it's located right next to Bankstown Airport which is a small airport for uh, fixed wing propeller driven planes I believe so every five minutes a plane would fly over so this is uh, getting close to there's a plane close to the entrance to the underneath the grandstand area where there's a uh, heap more market stalls Um, very, um, very, what am I going to say, a lot of different nationalities, let's say. Uh, I expected it to be predominantly Middle Eastern, but actually I found it more to be uh, Vietnamese orientated, uh, judging by the um, languages that were spoken. So here we are, just going underneath the grandstand, um, I, I got part of the way along and I realized I had to go back to the car for something so um, in a few minutes we're going to repeat this little section of video on the left there you can see the windows where people place their bets for the, um, the horses I've never been here on a race day to watch horses race around but I'm um, guessing this is um, where they place all their bets under their undercover so here's the part where I just come back from the car again and we're going past some of the stalls we saw previously and we can see the grandstand in the background. A bit of a shot of all the different little aisles that are on offer. Grand Vaudeville Grandstand, I think that's the name of it. So here we are again about to go under the uh, grandstand. So apparently uh, it's first come first serve here because I guess a lot of people would want to set up under the grandstand especially when it's hot or raining but um, you can't um, book a, a space under here it's just first come first serve. This guy had fish and he had Siamese fighting fish on the left there, some cichlids and a few varieties of goldfish. Uh, I think there's comets and uh, fantails and koi carp in that blue bucket. On the left here, there's some birds. 
So to book a table, uh, half a space is $30, full space is $60, and a double is $120. And if your stall needs power, it's an extra $5. So it's pretty reasonable. Shout out to HW Tours. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel where he walks around Sydney. So if you like that sort of stuff, uh, have a look at his channel, HW Tours. Uh, HW, I didn't buy a coffee. I was tempted to try a coconut coffee at that coffee van, but I never got around to it. I'll try and get one uh, next time, get myself a coconut nectar. So as you can see, there's plenty of stuff on offer. Um, most of the sellers had a bit of everything. Uh, I've just come to the end of the aisle and there's the birds on the left. You had uh, budgies and canaries and lovebirds and parrots. Uh, here's another guy selling fish. Uh, imagine the logistics involved in setting this up. You've got to load all these trestle tables in your van or truck, uh, bag up all the fish so they're safe, uh, load up the glass tank so they don't break, and then when you get here, you've got to set it all up. Imagine filling up all those tanks with water. Yeah, it's a big deal. Uh, there was two fixed food outlets. We just saw the Brazilian one, and this one here is the Vietnamese one. Those are the only two fixed food outlets in the market. Um, but there's other various sellers selling home-cooked food. Uh, this is the entrance to the grandstand underneath. Uh, a couple of old carriages that I captured. Couldn't get in there, so I had to film from outside. This is the uh, back of the grandstand and the, the last section of the market. It's another small outdoor area. Uh, so it's down near the horse stalls, um, stable part of the, the Bankstown Paceway, where they, um, prior to races, I guess they tie up the horses here. And after a race, I guess they, they bring, bring them back here and test them. Make sure they uh, didn't have any um, uh, substances in their bloodstream. So just panning around the stable area, there's a little area they can wash a horse down or hose it down. There's a sand roll because horses love rolling in the sand. So it's really interesting to see all this kind of stuff. Uh, you don't normally see this at a market. Planes going over every five minutes with their cloud formation. How good is that? So there's another entrance down this end as well. Uh, you can park down there. So to some people this would be the start of the market. Uh, an old grinder on an offer. Don't know how much it was. Surfboard. Like I said, they sell just about everything at this market. This is what they actually race. A little horse uh, pulling a little sulky in the driver. That's what goes around on this uh, racetrack. So I took a walk up to the track, had a look around, a bit of a sticky beak. No one was around, there's no races on today. So the racing surface is actually compressed river sand, that's what they race on. There's the grandstand where people will sit up there and cheer for their horses. There's a winning post, we'll zoom in in a sec. There you go. Bankstown Paceway. A few training tracks in the middle. Just going to zoom in on this uh, small plane coming over. It was quite interesting to look up and uh, when you heard the planes coming, look up and have a look at them flying so low over the top of the market. It's like a little added bonus. So yeah, this market is definitely more like Flemington Market. I reckon a lot of the sellers here are from, are from Flemington Markets, which is in uh, Western Sydney. So anyway, I took a walk up to the grandstand, uh, have a look over the track. Um, I'll definitely be coming back to this market for sure. This is my style of market. I hope you enjoyed this little walk around Bankstown Markets. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye now.